So my name's Nick and I've got relapsing remitting MS. Um, I was diagnosed at the beginning of lockdown 2020. So we had a rather stressful end to the summer holidays. We've been away. Both their kids uh, had chicken pox um, and Harvey uh, had it pretty badly, to be honest with you. And it, and it was quite a stressful holiday. And then when we returned from holiday, we had a, an, a bereavement. It was a very stressful time. Um, my work at that time was really busy and uh, we had the London Marathon coming up. So I was training for that. So leading up to the marathon, it was just a very busy window of time. And uh, as we moved through that, um, I think it became apparent that that was a relapse. So um, leading up to the marathon day, I remember thinking oh, my, my sight had turned up a little bit, almost like the contrast had gone up. And I spoke to my MS nurse and she uh, she didn't feel that it was a relapse at the time, but they were, they were concerned enough to give me an MRI. So the week before the marathon, I had an MRI scan and then I did a London marathon and then I saw my neurologist the next day. Um, a little bit stiff and achy <laughs> to explain that that wasn't my MS. That was actually just the running. <laughs> and uh, and uh, and she couldn't really see anything on the scan because she didn't have the full report at that time. So a few weeks went past. And then I got a call from the MS nurse uh, whilst I was out with a friend. And she said, pretty much, Nick, you've had a relapse. There's some activity showing on your optic nerve. So we're going to have to look at alternative treatments. Um, I've been on Tech Federer now for about a year and it felt as though it was doing well. It felt like a... Uh, it felt to me as though I kind of had this one nailed, but obviously it wasn't. So she said that they had to speak to Kings um, and then they would offer me some, probably a selection of treatments, which they did. And then it was down to me to choose the treatment that I'd like to go on to. Well, to be honest with you, I found it quite difficult because when you're given a list of names that looks like a foreign language almost, I mean, I still can't pronounce some of them. Um, I kind of found it difficult to really dig into that and I also found it quite difficult to get into the research because I didn't really feel like I wanted to research it I think because I was so happy being on Tech Federer because it was doing a good job I, you know I knew for me it felt as though I wanted to hold Tech Federer back oh, sorry hold, Tech Federer, hold on to Tech Federer as long as I couldn't hold Oprivus back that would be my back, back, back up plan as such mm. Um, so that was difficult. And then, you know, I was going through it all. And at one point I was looking at um, King of uh, Mavinclad and I was almost going that way. But then I kind of realised that actually that became more popular during coronavirus because less people were having the ability to have infusions in hospital. Um, and also I I'd spotted a lot of people on social media taking using Ocrevus as a treatment. Uh, and I, I felt as though that was the kind of thing I'd like to go on to. I think probably because I'd seen it so much out there and I'd seen the positivity around it and I'd seen how well people were doing after taking Ocrevus. That kind of made my decision for me. Um, I was a bit daunted by it because of the tests that you have to have beforehand um, and the, the long infusions. Um, but actually, so far, touch wood, it's probably been the best, uh, best decision I made. So I made my decision with my MS nurse and uh, she was fantastic. She, I had a face-to-face -face appointment with her. She took me through the treatment and she took me through the test that I'd have to have. So they test you for HIV. Uh, I can't remember the other ones. There's a few other different ones on there, but not, not the other. Tuberculosis is another one of those. Um, just to make sure that if you have got any of those um, illnesses, then they can treat you ahead of your Ocrevus treatment as such, because obviously it's going to bring your immune system down. Um, so she went through that with me and explained to me that the treatment for me couldn't be done locally in a local hospital. They haven't got space in there for a treatment centre. So it would be done about a 40 minute drive away in the town called Maystone um, in their treatment centre there. And she explained that the next steps were to do these tests, to draw up the prescription. And then following that, I'd be uh, contacted by the infusion guys at Maystone Hospital, um, which is exactly what happened. And um, I got a call, they invited me in, uh, we arranged a date and um, I had my test, they were all fine, they were all clear, which was good, good news. Um, and it was pretty much a case of turning up a little bit nervous. I'd obviously done some research on it, you know, what should I take and all that kind of stuff. I took a share bag of minstrels and managed to destroy that in one sitting. 
um, and uh, you know, entertainment, a laptop, or or whatever. Um, and when you get when you get to the hospital, uh, I found the infusion suite. It was in the old maternity wing of Maidstone Hospital, and um, it was as expected. Really, I think in my head it, it was going to be a bit more daunting because I'd watched a film called 100 Meters, and there's a scene in that where it looks actually quite depressing, and it really wasn't at all. There were some lovely nurses that welcomed us in, or me in. Um, and I was sat down next to a lady. Everyone was pretty quiet, to be honest with you. There's another room with more people being infused with various treatments. Um, and then they came over and they they spoke with me and explained what was going to happen. They gave me a paracetamol, um, first of all, and then they put the cannula in. And of course, because they're infusion specialists as such, that's, what, that's all they do. They're fantastic at putting the needle in, the cannula in, and it went in really well. And then... And they explained that they put steroids in first of all and antihistamine following that. That's to prevent reactions. And uh, I have to say, once the uh, steroid went, went in, you could certainly feel that. And uh, <laughs> actually, after the steroid went in, me and the lady next to me started chatting a lot more. And then when the antihistamine goes in, it kind of makes you feel a bit dozy. So it's a bit of a strange feeling, but nothing unpleasant at all. And um, we we're sitting in some very comfy chairs, which were fully reclinable. A bit like a lazy boy chair, had a, a table which we could bring across us. The infusion nurses would uh, come over and they're checking constantly your vital signs. So I think it was every half an hour to ensure that your blood pressure doesn't go too low um, and just to check your heart rate. Um, and if it's all fine, off they go and you just carry on being infused. And they put the ocrevus in after they finished with the, um, the antihistamine. And again, you don't really feel anything. Some people say they feel a taste in the mouth. Um, I'd say the only thing I felt was a little bit nauseous when the steroids went in first of all. Um, but other than that, it was fine. And um, as I say, it was really lovely, actually, because it was a very comfy chair. The people there were making us cups of tea. So we got chocolate as well. I started to speak to the lady next to me. It turned out to be her first infusion. So we, you know, we were both checking to see if we were okay and how we felt. Um, and actually... You know, over six hours, I think it's between five and six hours. The reason it's six hours is in case you have a reaction to the octopus, mm. which means that they can they can help uh, settle that reaction and then continue with the treatment. But over that time, um, you end up picking up some great conversations with the people around you. So that's actually quite a positive experience. Um, I wouldn't say that I felt too bad afterwards. I think the steroids were certainly in my system still, and it probably wasn't a good idea to have a coffee afterwards. Um, <laughs> because I didn't stop talking all the way home. And then when I got home, I think I engaged in some pretty heavy debates because of that. And then I crashed. So then, and, <laughs> and that's when he starts to feel tired. And I did certainly feel tired the next day and probably the day after, but it didn't really feel awful. Um, I just felt sleepy, really. And that was it. So I've had the first two treatments, which were two hour, sorry, two six hour treatments. And then they'll go get back again in six months for a uh, full treatment i think it's 600 milligrams i think the one previously was two lots of 300 milligrams um and i feel very confident about it i mean in comparison i'm really happy because the tech federal although i was really happy being on it because it was easy um it did give me hot flushes and it did make me feel um slightly hungover that's how i could have probably best express the feeling um and with obviously with Ocrevus, it goes in, does the job, it takes your immune system down, but then the drugs out of your system and such. So you're not living day to day putting more medication in. I like the fact it's only every six months. Um, I like the fact I get to meet other people around me. <laughs> and uh, and I like the fact it's got a higher percentage, you know, higher success rate. So, you know, in all, I think it's um, at the moment, touch wood, it's been a good treatment. Yeah, so ahead of that treatment, I have to do, I think, bloods again. And then I've got another MRI booked in anyhow, ahead of that treatment, where I'll be seeing my neurologist. So once we have that MRI, hopefully we'll see that the activities lessen. Um, fingers crossed, touch wood again. Um, but yeah, they've been great. And they, they keep, you know, keep an eye on stuff. And if I've, if I've got any concerns, I can email my uh, MS nurse, which is great. And that's a really good question because it's something that I always think, what's what's next now? Because before when I was on Tech Federal, what's next? I mean, I think 
the relapse that I had last year was certainly around stress. And, you know, because of that, I think perhaps if that hadn't have happened, then maybe Tech Federer could have continued to work for me. But it's just an unfortunate situation and the right thing to do to move on to a, a more aggressive treatment if the MS is active at that time. You know, I hope that it does what it has to do. I hope that it continues to to be a successful treatment for people because it sounds like it's changing people's lives and and helping a lot. So it's it's a good one. I think I think you have to put to bed what's happened almost because there's nothing you can do. You can't go back there and actually just really dig into the detail and what this treatment can do and think about the positives from it and the fact that it has got a good success rate. It is easy to take. Um, I think that's that's the thing is try and lessen the fear because there really is nothing to be fearful of. I mean, I think there's a course of fear ahead of you when this happens, which is the pre-testing. It's obviously then the thought of having to make your way to an infusion centre, which, which is actually a really nice place. It's a very comfortable place. Um, and of course, how are you going to feel afterwards? I mean, for me, it's been absolutely fine. And I hope that for most people that, that use Ocrevus, it's the same for them because it's, you know, it's unusual that something may happen. And if it does, there's something there to help you with that. So, you know, I'd say try not to worry, think about the fear, think of the positives you get out of it. You know, and if it's going to give me, you know, longer term mobility or, you know, helps keep my MS calm, then let's keep going with it, you know. And then if that doesn't work, okay, let's look for the next thing. <laughs> you know, try not to look back. Mm -hmm.